Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicles Speaks. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. Now, grief is something that we all handle differently. Some people handle it better than others. Now, when news struck last month that Wendy Williams' mother, Shirley Williams, passed, many were worried about Wendy and how she might handle the situation. Well, upon reviewing her brother Tommy's recent YouTube post, Wendy did not show up to her mother's funeral, and her brother is not pleased with it at all. Now, before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of this tea. Now, let's get back into it. Wendy Williams' mother, Shirley Williams, was a regular on Wendy's show alongside Wendy's dad. Her bubbly personality was so cute and just an all-around fun person to watch. Now, you can tell from the Williams' kids that they were raised from a good household. The parents were both teachers. Her older sister, Wanda, became a lawyer. Wendy is a radio-turned-daytime TV star, and her brother, Tommy, is a teacher as well. Now, this family was taught to remain close, have each other's back, and be there for one another. Now, this just isn't my perception of the family being close, but after talking to Tommy a few weeks ago when we did an interview, he advised me that his mother and his father told them to always have each other's back. Now, Wendy choked up while discussing her mother's passing on her show last month, and she even took time off from her show to regroup. Um, my mom passed away many, 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 many weeks ago. Now, there was a wake for Miss Shirley, which Wendy attended with her son and her ex-husband, Kelvin Hunter. Wendy then told her family that she would be flying back home and wouldn't make the funeral, only to stay in town and skip the funeral. And according to her brother, Tommy, he's pretty pissed. Last night was a rough, rough one for me. Uh, I've been going through so many things, you know, with emotions and stuff. And uh, how many of you all have siblings out there? Siblings and how, talk about how, how you all, um, you know, move through this process because I'm I could use some advice, actually. Uh, just, I need to just see it all for me. Um, and it's been a rather, a rather lonely process. <clears throat> I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> I really miss my mother. No matter how hard I try, like, you know, to try to... To try to push through and hold myself up and create the Tommy Cats and... Be happy for my wife and my family, my, my dad especially. It makes it rough. It's rough. <clears throat> I don't understand so many things that have occurred during this time. And, uh, you know, it's tough to try to find somebody and try to find that in yourself to just resolve all problems, you know, or all questions and solve them all. I don't have the answers. And I'm not getting answers that I need to have. You know, my mother always said, stand by one another. Stand, stand by your family, stand by your sisters, Tommy, all the time. Stand by your sisters. Spend time with your father, Tommy. Spend time with your father. You need to spend as much time with your dad as possible. I always said it. I always followed whatever she said, whatever my parents suggested, and it made sense to me. And it always will make sense. I'm there for my dad. I'm there for my dad 100, 200, 300%. But it frustrates me because family's not, family doesn't always do what you would believe that should be done and I try to work work and grapple through why why do people or why what well, what makes somebody not go to their their own mother's funeral I don't understand how a person can can miss out on giving a salute to the one person 
who was always there, who always showed support. I don't understand how a person cannot go to a funeral and, and hold up the one person or the family member that you do have, the parent that you do have left, and just move on and keep it moving. I don't understand that. I don't understand how to keep loving somebody who, who could cause that kind of pain. It's not an easy time. It hasn't been an easy two months, just about. A month and a half hasn't been easy. Every day I look and talk to my father, I know the pain that he feels. I know the emptiness he feels. He's a good man. He's a good father. He's the best. And he deserves all the support he can get. I just think it's wrong. I just think it's wrong not to show if you love somebody, then be there for somebody. I don't get it. I don't get how you could just move on and just not act like nothing happened, you know? Why get a call the night of my mother's funeral asking me about, hey, what do we, you know, I heard, you know, what's going on with your YouTube? What's going on with your YouTube channel? With my father trying to hold him up, trying to spend time with him, get Chinese food, make sure the pan is okay. Haven't seen anybody all day, haven't seen, heard nothing. My brother-in-law. Hey, what's going on with the YouTube channel? You're at the lunch today, watching your videos and stuff. What's going on with that? What's going on with that? You're fine with asking me about it. <laughs> She's still in town? Really? <laughs> Wait, I thought she was back in New York. <laughs> Wendy's ex- Kevin came out to support the family, and I appreciate that. There's no malice that I have towards him. Never will there be. He made a choice. It was a poor choice. And it was the one that broke the camel's back. How Wendy spends her time now. She's a single woman, as she says. She's single. She does what she wants to do. She dates who she wants to date. She spends time doing what she wants to do. That's why I'm caught up in my thoughts. Because why wouldn't you come to your mother's funeral? Why? And I have a father he needs because I've got to fill that gap that he felt that day. Because he should have had all of his kids around him. To view the rest of the video, which is about 30 minutes in length, you'll have to go on Tommy's YouTube page, which I will leave a link in the description box below. But I want to know what you think about this Wendy Williams skipping out on her mother's funeral. Like I said, everyone grieves differently. So I was thinking maybe this is just grief. Maybe she couldn't see her mother like that. But Wendy went to the wake the day before and she just didn't go to the funeral allegedly. So I'm trying to figure out what was the reason behind that and the fact that you would skip the funeral but go and have lunch with your ex-husband i'm just i'm not getting it i really i'm not getting it i don't know if i'm supposed to get it it's just beyond me at this point but i want to hear from you what do you think about this situation regarding wendy williams not going to her mother's funeral leave a comment and you know how we do we'll talk about it down below talk to you guys later bye as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button Hit that like button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.